Magic squares, they have amused people for centuries. And how they work is this. I'm going to roll two dice, and you can see here that I've got the number 72 that has come up. Now watch closely, because I'm going to do something rather remarkable. Just you wait. Are we ready? Go. And stop. Now, you might think that that's just a whole lot of numbers, but just you watch. If I say 11 plus 14, well that's 25, plus 5 is equal to 30, plus 42 is equal to 72. If I say 4 plus 43, well that's 47, plus 10 is 57, and 15 is 72. 44 and 7, well that's 51, plus 9 is equal to 60, plus 12 is 72. And 13 and 8 is 21, plus 45 is equal to 66, and 6 is equal to 72. Now that's all great, but what makes it a magic square is the fact that if I do this, 11 plus 4 is equal to 15, plus 44 is equal to 59, plus 13 is equal to 72. 14 and 43 is equal to 57, plus 7 is equal to 64, and 8 is 62. 5 and 10 is 15, 12 is equal to 27, and 45 is 72. 42 and 15 is equal to 57, plus 6 is equal to 63, and 9 is 72. And let's just double check one more thing, and that is 11 and 43 is equal to 54, plus 12 is equal to 66, and 6 is 72. Plus 13 and 7 is also 20, plus 10 is 30, and 42 is 72. That is what makes it a magic square. When you have all rows and columns, as well as diagonals, adding to the same number. Now, if you think that's impressive, well, you're going to try now to explore a magic square for yourself. We'll start off with a three by three. That is, if you have the numbers one to nine, like what we've got here, the aim is to be able to rearrange these numbers from one to nine to make a magic square. Now, as you do it, you might want to think of the strategies that you're going through in your head that you're using in order to be able to make sure that each row, each column, and the diagonals all add up to the same amount. Best of luck.